Can I make a Discord bot without coding? GitHub Copilot is an AI pair programmer that can actually write code for us. As you can see, it's more than autocomplete. It can understand a lot of context. I wondered, could I challenge myself to make a Discord bot by using GitHub Copilot entirely to have the AI write the code for the bot by itself? So in order to have any good challenge, we need to specify requirements and rules. So the first rule is that I am not allowed to write code. You may be wondering, what, how can you create a bot if you are not writing the code? Well, that's why we have Copilot. Copilot is going to be writing the code through the use of my comments. So I'm going to be allowed to write comments in the file. Now, normally computers don't read the comments that programmers write. This is mainly for human notes, uh, to specify some information within our code and to keep it documented. But Copilot is an exception to that. It is a computer or an AI that's actually reading our comments. It's reading the entire file and generating code based off of that. So given that, what's our second rule? How do we determine if the bot has been successful? Well, that's where our specifications comes in. Our bot is going to be fully functional. And my main test for this is going to be, is it able to fetch an image from a API. And the API I've chosen is the cat API. As you can see here, it's literally called the developer experience. It's essential for any developer. Our bot is going to be fetching a random image from this API and then pasting it in our Discord chat. That being said, let's get started with actually writing the code. So the first thing that I want the bot to do is get our token from our tokens.json file that I've already set up here. And in order to do this, I'm going to have it require the file and then get that specific token from it. So here, I'm first gonna tell it what it needs to do. This entire file is going to be a file for our Discord bot. Now that it knows that we're creating a Discord bot, maybe it's gonna be able to generate some better suggestions. Here it's saying import the Discord JS module. First, I wanna fetch the token. So I'm gonna reject this suggestion. And the funny thing is that it's literally writing my comments for me too, uh, to an extent. So that's pretty, pretty impressive already. But we're gonna go ahead here and require token from tokens.json file. Let's see if it's able to do that. Yep, it went ahead and did that, requires the token. It even specified a constant, which is pretty surprising because usually Copilot uses var or var for variable, but it knows that our token is a constant value. So it's gonna go ahead and keep that uh, pretty nice. The next thing, yep, we do need to require discord.js, but specifically I want only the intent and client from the discord.js module because there's no need to require the entire thing. One interesting thing is discord.js had an update around six, seven months ago for V13. And uh, most of GitHub Copilot and what it's trained on would probably be from version 12 or maybe version 11 on GitHub. So I'm not sure if it has enough data from when it was trained for V13. But alas, here we are. Let's see if it can live up to our standards. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new Discord client. It's doing that pretty perfectly, really nice. And again, guys, even writing my comment for me, that is that is pretty impressive. Set the intents to include all of the intents. I don't know exactly what that means. Yikes. Yeah, so I'm not sure if exactly if we want to have new intents here. I, I just want the flags from intents passed into an array of those intents. So let's see if we can reword that a little bit better. Sure, that's that's fine. Again, it's it's trying to use this new intent. I'm not sure if that actually works in Discord JS, but let's go ahead and continue with this. If it has an error, we'll have to come back and fix that. So it did go ahead and, and get our intents that we wanted, but again, I'm not sure if that's gonna be able to generate that correctly. So let's go ahead and continue with the next step, which is to get our ready event and wow. Um, so it does definitely have a lot of Discord bot code that it's been trained on because it just really, and it's even knows that the ready event only triggers one time uh, after the bot logs in. So that's that's really amazing. Uh, console log ready, some weird spacing there, but that's all right. The next thing we wanna do is, <laughs> we're not gonna log in just yet. It is trying to get a little bit ahead of itself. We wanna go ahead and listen for the message event. So, okay, that's a little bit weird because it knows what message create is, but here it's listening for message. 
Uh, we want it to listen for message create. Yeah, that, that's that's really what we want here. I don't know if that's considered me writing the code there. Um, I'm just gonna let it slide there, guys. Don't tell anybody about that, uh, that I wrote the word client, but I, I think it, it pretty much understood what I wanted. And perfect, it even got um, kind of what I wanted it to do, which was create a ping command first before we go ahead and fetch those cats. We first want it to just be able to respond to like a ping sort of message. But I'm not sure if I want just the word ping. I want it to have a prefix. So let's say if the message is, what prefix do you guys say? Uh, you guys are saying carrot? Oh, sure, let's go ahead with that. Um, the greater than sign. So if the message content is ping, then we're gonna send pong back. And I'm actually gonna change this again to reply pong. The past one works perfectly fine, uh, the thing it came up with, but I'm just nitpicking here. Specifically, I want it to, okay, that's not correct. I want it to reply pong. Let's see if that works. Message.reply pong, perfect. So that is all in order. Now the last thing we need to do is log into the bot. So log into Discord with your apps token. There, it went ahead and did that. Really awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the module, uh, which is discord.js. And then I'm gonna go ahead and run the bot. So let's see if it comes up with any errors. Nope. Voila, wow. So it came up with ready, which is exactly what we wanted. So let's go ahead and invite it to our Discord server for testing. After this, we're going to add in the cat image command, which is gonna be really awesome to see. So I'm gonna give it send messages permission and attach files. We might need that a little bit later when we're attaching the cat file. Um, and let's just give it read message history. So I'm gonna copy this link and invite our bot. One funny thing, well, not, not exactly funny, but just interesting, is the name of the app. I put AI by AI, because of course we have an AI making an AI. And let's invite the AI to our server. Lots of AIs today. Which is Rishabh Jane's Cafe, which you should definitely join, by the way, discord.gg slash rjane. Now that the bot is up and ready, I'm ready to run the ping command. So I'm gonna go ahead, run this, and as you guys can see, it responded with Pong. So pretty great so far. Now the really main thing that we need to test out is if it's gonna be able to make a request to an API and do all of that fun stuff. So here's where the test truly comes. So now let's see if we can get Copilot to actually generate our cat image. And in order to do this, I've went ahead and got Copilot to write a request. Uh, it's creating request, which is requiring the request package or the request part of Node.js. And this will help us make an API request um, properly. So here it's, it's running ahead of itself and saying if the message is help. We're not wanting to create a help command, we're actually wanting to receive um, a cat command here. And let's see if it can, wow, that is pretty impressive. It went ahead and created this image over here. I, I wanna see if this actually generates a cat and it does. That's very interesting. So apparently this is this must be a popular website um, on GitHub at least because it just instantly created that. Uh, not even the cat API, which is the one that I was planning on using. So let's see if this works. I'm gonna go ahead and run the bot again and let's go back to Discord. So moment of truth, I'm running the cat command and there is an upload. It uploaded a cat. Let's see what cat this is. Okay, this is a little bit strange. It uploaded a file with no file extension. So I'm not sure it actually got the URL correctly of the cat. So I think I trusted GitHub Copilot a little bit too much because I went ahead and let it go ahead with a site and an API that I didn't really understand or know what, what this site even is. So I'm gonna go to my original plan, which was to use the cat API. So here we have the cat API correctly, but over here, it's just console logging the body, but we want the actual image from the cat API. Looks pretty good to me, but of course, Copilot again might be coming up with something that's just totally incorrect. So let's try running this and seeing if it works. So I can run this command all I want and wow, it, it did this 
quite perfectly, but you might be wondering, did we meet the two requirements? Well, the first one was, I was not allowed to write any code, I could only write comments. And I guess in the end, I mainly only wrote comments. There was one spot where I did write a little bit of code, but it looked like it was doing stuff pretty correct anyway. But I think it's just cool that we can literally have an artificial intelligence write code for us. We could even have the artificial intelligence write code for training another artificial intelligence. So that is pretty impressive. Hats off to GitHub Copilot. This was a pretty fun project and I hope you guys found this pretty fun too. Make sure to subscribe down below and leave a like. And with that, I'll see you in the next video on the screen.